What's going on guys, Coach Sherry here, Natural Bodybuilder. In this video, I wanna share with you guys some struggles, challenges as a natural lifter, all right? If you're a natural lifter, you might experience those challenges. I've been doing it for over 13 years. And basically my channel is helping people, supporting them and encourage natural bodybuilding. All right, so let's jump into it. Some, I have six for you guys, challenges as a natural lifter. Number one, all right, it's the strength gain. So after five, six, 10 years, you've been training for a while now, you will see that your strength is kind of hitting a plateau. All right, maybe you're benching, I don't know, three plays for five reps, but it hasn't progressed for years. Same thing for the bench, same thing for the squat. You might see more gains in terms of muscles, you're bigger, maybe you're doing a little bit more reps, but in terms of weights that you're using, well, you're not seeing a huge progress. And that's what's been happening to me lately. For the past two years, basically, the weights I'm using are pretty much the same. Yes, I'm, I don't train for strength. All right, you gotta know I'm not a power lifter. I train for bodybuilding, but it's also cool to be able to push more weights eventually. But after a certain time, you feel like the weights you're using are plateauing. Maybe I'll add five pounds, 10 pounds when I feel like it's a good day uh, extra that I do usually, but no crazy strength gains. All right, now, if you're a power lifter training just for pushing heavy weights, yes, you will keep seeing progress, but then you'll be sacrificing kind of the mass uh, and the bodybuilding aspect of it. So that's the first challenge. It's the strength gain. Uh, my bench hasn't gone up for years, to be honest with you. I'll do more reps. Maybe I'll do more of a pre-exhaustion technique where I don't need as much weight. And yes, our main focus is not the weight, but it's also cool to be to get stronger and push heavier weights. So that's one of the challenges. I'm basically telling it how it is. So you guys, if you're experiencing that, you know that you're not alone. Number two, it's hard to stay lean, big and strong at the same time. It's very hard to stay lean and big, hard to stay lean and kind of full, all right? Having that muscle fullness, that muscle density, the volume, because as a natural, when you're lean, all right and also when you're enhanced but enhanced athletes even when they're super lean you'll see that vascularity the muscles are pumped they're full but us we're depleted the depleting so much muscle glycogen that when you're getting leaner you're in a caloric deficit your muscles look flat so fast all right and then you, your trainings are compromised you're not pushing as much and you're not looking as good as big as full so, and it's very hard to stay lean as naturals in general all right we have a li very little room for uh kind of eating a little bit outside of our diet plan. I know someone that is enhanced, he's putting mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, any kind of sauce, sweet stuff, eating cookies here and there, and he stays super lean. But as naturals, if we would do that, there's no room for an extra cookie. If you wanna be under 12% body fat, as a natural, you really gotta make sure that everything is super tailored, or, uh, sorry, everything is super spot on, and there's not much room for error, all right? It's a very extreme diet plan. Even the cheat meals, you know, to be honest with you, the leaner I get, the less I can uh, go for cheat meals because I will see it right away. And that's just the reality of things. All right, I was listening to a podcast, Natural Bodybuilders, that were saying that they can't even put ketchup or any hot sauce or whatsoever because they're, they were competing and uh, they reach a certain point where you just can't uh, get away with it. All right, and that's how it is for naturals. You want to be lean, you got to make sure everything is tailored. You got to make sure that... Uh, your diet is 100%. Moving on, number three, the volume that I need to, uh, to, 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 to keep progressing, to keep uh, stimulating my muscle is high. So I, I have to spend a lot of time at the gym, all right? I've been training for over 13 years. My muscle can basically, uh, can basically uh, endure more volume. So I have to stay longer at the gym because if not, I'm not able to put, get my muscles to failure and then I won't be progressing. Someone that is enhanced basically with a little pump workout, they'll keep stimulating their muscles and growing thanks to all the PEDs they're taking. But if you're natural, after a certain point, you've been training for years, well, the volume has to increase slowly and sometimes you have to spend 90 minutes at the gym and it just gets too long, to be honest. All right, also the frequency has to be high. Don't tell me, well, you can do the Mike Menzer three times a week. No, you will not be progressing on a three times a week, 60 minute workout. There's no way. As a natural, after you've been training for years, all right, you might progress at the beginning, but if you've been training for years, there's no way you'll keep progressing doing that. All right, so the volume has to go up, the frequency has to go up, and it just becomes very time consuming because you gotta spend a long time at the gym and you gotta make sure that you're pushing yourself to failure. And because your body, the resistance of your muscles is pretty high, well, you just gotta do more sets and push your sets more to failure and keeping the frequency and the intensity high. So it is time consuming. You do spend a lot of time in the gym. All right, if you wanna keep growing, 
because remember your body don't want to put muscle on all right your body don't want to put muscle on muscle need more oxygen more calories needed it's not good for survival all right but we gotta force the body and that means more time spent at the gym number four one of the challenge is basically no social life in terms of uh, i don't know maybe sometimes i have friends that would go outside for two three days and uh, I don't know, uh, partying in the evening or clubbing or just staying out late because you'll be missing on your sleep, you'll be missing on your recovery. Maybe your meals won't be the same way as you're used to. You're, you're getting out of that routine. And as naturals, uh, it's hard because if you get out of your routine, you're not sleeping well, you're not eating as you usually do. As soon as you get back in the gym, you'll feel it. All right. I can't sleep five hours a night and then go to the gym and be at my best. All right. I just can't. I'll feel it right away. Same thing if I'm not eating as I'm used to eating. I'm not following my diet plan, my routine. So you become like a robot, like a machine where you're following all the meals. You got to make sure you're getting your sleep. You're sleeping early. You're waking up at a certain time and you're getting all your meals in and you're training at the exact same time. So there's not much room for fun. And yes, your social life might be affected. All right. So it is a challenge. It is a challenge and it is a, a constant battle of staying in that box, which is hard. All right. It's hard. I'm not saying that's the right thing. That's a challenge that I'm facing, but uh, I am trying to kind of be a little bit more flexible and working around it. Number five, progress is slow. All right. In terms of, like I said, strength, but also in terms of building muscles, you know, I'm 165 pounds, five feet, seven. And I haven't gained much weight since the past years, all right? Maybe I'll gain one, two pounds of quality muscles a year max, all right? Um, the progress is very slow and it's not something that is visible, all right? It's not something that you can look in the mirror and be like, oh, wow, I progressed so much these last few months. No, it takes years as a natural after you kind of reach that plateau to keep progressing. And it does... It is a challenge. It is sometimes mentally frustrating because you're putting too much in it. Two hours in the gym, getting there, coming back, your post-workout, your pre-workout, uh, the supplements, you're making sure you're getting your protein, your creatine, all your meals, your carbs. But then you're like, well, I'm maintaining, I'm barely progressing. Yeah, you're progressing at 1, 0.1% after uh, years. You're, the progress is super slow, but it's a challenge, but that's what you've got to remember that you're doing it, not just for the results, but because you like it. Because for me, bodybuilding is basically my, my therapy, my mental, my, uh, what, what gets me, what gives me that mental clarity, what helps me start my day. And, uh, it's a, it's a way of living for me. It's part of who I am. That's why I like going to the gym. It's not just for the results, but it's because that's just how I, how I express myself. It's a way for me. All right. So moving on. Number six, uh, it's hard to be strong, big and lean at the same time. So when you're bulking up, you get stronger, right? Because now you have more calories, you get a bit stronger, muscles are full of glycogen. And when you're natural, it's very hard to be strong, big and lean at the same time. You want to be big, you want to be strong. Well, you got to sacrifice the lean part. So a lot of times when I used to be at my strongest, I was kind of a little bit overweight. Maybe I was 215 pounds, a higher body fat percentage, but I was lifting heavy. I was pretty big. Now that I'm leaner, I look pretty small, right? People maybe barely look at me as if I'm training. If I'm wearing my big jacket on and basically I'm covering everything, I might not look like I'm training. You don't look as big. So it is a challenge because being big and lean as a natural, it's, uh, it's, it's a very hard challenge. Very, very, very hard challenge. And uh, yeah, it, it doesn't personally affect me. Uh, yes, I do like wearing, let's say, a shoulder sleeve in, in, in summer because it looks like, hey, this guy is training, this guy is working out. But sometimes when you want to be lean, you lose so much of that mass which is not necessarily muscles, but all the muscle glycogen in the water that you start shrinking down and then you go on a scale and you lost 20, 30 pounds and you're like, whoa, my God, I've been training for years and I lost so much weight. All right. So you got to accept the fact that you're not going to be able to be super big and super strong and lean at the same time, vascular. If you see someone that is very vascular, very lean, very big and extremely strong, well, that's a sign that they're on PEDs. All right. So those are just a few challenges I wanted to share with you. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If I forgot one, what is your biggest challenge as a natural lifter? Let me know in the comment. I'm curious to see and watch one of my other videos. I'll see you guys soon. Stay natural.
natural for as long as possible because you know what? I just wrote a story on Instagram. I said, stay natural for as long as natural up until you realize that you never needed it in the first place. All right, see you guys soon. Ciao.